equestrian friends, it's me, Lisa, the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to another video. And spring is officially here. Yes, it is really here. Although we did have about three inches of snow the other day, I'm not counting that because it's really nice outside. The horse shows have come back to the Colorado Horse Park and it is time to get outside and get working with my horses. And today I wanted to give you 15 different ways that you can get your barn ready for spring so you can get out there and make the most of the time that you have with your horse. So number one, spring cleaning and getting rid of the clutter. Spring cleaning is a great place to get started and getting out in your barn and doing a little bit of spring cleaning in the barn is a great way for you to jump start getting ready to get out there and work with your horse this spring. You can pull everything out of the barn and look at everything you have. Do you use it? Is it safe? Does it need to be replaced? Take everything out of the barn and decide what you need to keep and what you don't. It also helps to have a notebook and pen to write down things that you may need to replace. And you could separate everything into piles, things that you're gonna keep, things that you're gonna sell, or things that need to be donated. And one thing that I like to do in my barn and my tack collection is if there's something that I'm gonna be replacing, so let's say I'm gonna get a new bridle, well, for every one new thing that I bring in, two things have to go out of the barn. So just as an example, I'm buying a new bridle, that means I've gotta get rid of two other things in the barn, and this helps me to keep my tack collection in check. Next, think about bringing in some fresh scents. Now I know this might sound silly, especially in a barn, because the barn smells like hay, horses, leather, and probably some other things that don't smell the greatest. But sometimes there's just certain scents that make us happy. I think about when I walk into a tack store, like when I go to Dover Saddlery, and just it just smells amazing in there. And that's all of the leather and the different horse care products. So my favorite smells are horses, leather, good hay, and clean shavings but I also really like essential oils. And this is the time of year when I bring in different essential oils to my barn. A lot of times I will buy the bug pellant hangups or the refill cartridges, but sometimes I don't have those, so I go ahead and make my own bug pellant concoction that I put inside the little hangers that I have in my horse's stalls. And when I make my own essential oil hangups, they smell pretty good but they do not even come close to comparing to the bug pellant hangups. There's just something about walking out into the barn and it just smells so clean and fresh. And I know that my horses are being protected against flying insects and pests too. So those hangups kind of do double duty. They help protect your horses against flying pests, but then they make your barn smell really great too. Something else you can do to get ready for spring is to wash all of your saddle pads. This is a chore that I seem to put off, but always in the spring, I get really excited and geared up to get out and do some more riding. So I wanna make sure all of my saddle pads are nice and clean and ready for me to use right when I decide it's time to ride my horses. Now it's not difficult to wash most saddle pads. For me, I just throw mine in the washer and then hang them up outside to dry. I do wash my fancy fleece pad all by itself, but still, having clean saddle pads is always a good thing. Then you can figure out a way to hang up all of those beautiful pads so that they're ready whenever the weather decides to cooperate and you get out and ride your horse. And since we have freshly clean saddle pads, how about having some nice clean tack too? And like I said in the beginning, if you take everything out of the barn, you can see what needs to be clean. And I think it's safe to assume that pretty much all of the saddles need to be clean. If you have anything leather, basically, it should be clean. If it's nice outside, why not set up a cleaning station right outside your barn? And once everything is clean and tidy, don't put it away just yet. It's a good idea to make sure that your whole barn and tack room is nice and clean from the floors to the ceiling before you bring everything back into the tack room and barn. For me, this is a little bit easier because during the winter months, all of my tack, well, most of my tack lives inside of my house. So in the springtime, I can get everything ready in my barn and my tack room, and then I bring out all of my saddles and everything else that I'm gonna need to be riding this summer. And since everything is out of your tack room now, this is a great time to add some more storage. And I am always looking for ways to add more storage in my barn to make the most of the space that I have. So my tack and feed room has undergone many, many transformations in my quest to have the most effective area for me to store my tack and my feed. 
And if I'm at a loss of ideas and I want to do something new, I'll typically do a Google search under dream tack rooms or barns. I find it really helpful for me to get my brain in gear and start getting a little creative and thinking of new ways that I can add storage to my tack room and barn. And when we're getting ready for spring, it's also a good idea to organize your grooming kit. How many grooming kits do you have? I have quite a few, but regardless of how many grooming kits you have, making sure it's clean and organized will be really helpful when it comes time to using it. So take out all of your grooming tools and grooming boxes and dump everything out. Clean out all of the kits and get them organized. If you have more than one kit, consider organizing what you'll need in each kit. You could have a shedding season kit, a wintertime grooming kit, a show kit, and well, whatever other kind of kit that you could want for your horse. This is also a great time to clean out all of your buckets. Keeping your horse's buckets are clean and sometimes they can get pretty dirty too. And I have to admit, during the winter time, I tend to get a little bit lazy about making sure the buckets are nice and clean. But it's important to take the time to clean out your buckets. For my horses, inside their stalls, I have insulated bucket holders. And while they aren't the greatest for keeping the water ice free, I do like having them as an added water source. The buckets that go inside were two years old and the handles were getting cracked and Frisbee decided to turn one of his buckets into a chew toy. So I found that the Home Depot five gallon buckets fit really great into the insulators and they're affordable at around $3 a piece. So I bought some new buckets for their stalls and then the other ones, they got pretty destroyed so they're just gonna go in the trash. But not only do my horses have the water buckets inside their stalls, they have the big water trough that is shared between the two paddocks and then they also have their buckets where I feed them their grain inside the barn and then also hanging out on the outside paddock walls. So not only am I gonna clean out their buckets, but I'm gonna clean out their feed buckets too. So now that we've cleaned all of our tack and our saddle pads are washed, now it's time to organize the tack room. If everything that you have out in your tack room has a place to live and you always put it back, it will keep your tack room neat and tidy. Now I don't know about you, but I love looking at an organized space no matter where it is. And while my tack room may not be a traditional way to organize, it works for me and I use what I have in order to make my tack room work for me. Like I said, I like everything having a home. Everything from my blankets to my saddle pads and even the extra stuff that I have in the barn in anticipation for the upcoming better weather. Even like these little dollar store bins that I made for my boots and my bonnets something fun and it looks really nice in there and again everything that's in the tack room has a place to live now this year i decided to make the most of spring i was going to have a grooming station for my horses so that's what i did if you have a space to tie and groom your horse it also makes tacking up a lot easier so when we first moved to the house that we live in now like 10 12 years ago i really didn't believe in myself enough that I would be able to make improvements to my barn. And I didn't have any place to tie Frisbee up for tacking up or grooming or anything. So what I did was basically use my horse trailer as a tie rack. So every time I wanted to ride Frisbee or play with Frisbee, I had to tie him up to the horse trailer. But eventually I decided I can do this and I decided to make a hitching post and while the hitching post has been tremendously helpful and has really changed my getting ready routine with my horse one thing that's been missing for a while has been the footing so when it gets muddy out here it gets really muddy and I got tired of slipping and sliding in the mud when I was trying to tack up or groom my horses so I invested about eighty dollars in two stall mats that I put in front of my hitching post and now I have an official grooming station for my horses. I also added a screw eye and made a portable saddle rack with a hook for my bridle. That way I can bring out my grooming tote, saddle and bridle and have everything in one place to tack my horses up. And it is so helpful when you're limited on time. It really has been a time saver and it makes getting the horses ready to ride a lot easier too. Now this next one might seem a little bit silly, but why not hang up some art in your barn? Sometimes adding a little bit of decoration can really make the space. Now you could find ready-made signs at the dollar store, or you can add some of your favorite photos of your horse, which can also help others to identify your horses. You could also make your own art and hang it on the walls, like my equestrian themed dream catcher I made. It's your barn, do what you want. 
make it personal and make it something that you enjoy being out there. And don't forget to install some new hooks. When it comes to attack room, feed room, barn, whatever, there's no such thing as too many hooks. No matter how many hooks I have, I find that I could always use some more. And also when you are hanging hooks, think about where you're gonna hang them up to help you stay as efficient as possible, as well as giving everything a home. And if you put the hook somewhere and it doesn't really work, all you have to do is move it. This is also a great time of year to stock up on essential items that you're gonna need for the spring, summer, and probably even fall months. I don't know about you, but I tend to run out of stuff and I don't like running out of stuff right when I'm getting ready to do something with my horse. So if you find yourself running out of fly spray or hoof oil during the summer, stock up on it now. This is also a really good time to go through your first aid kit and make sure you have everything that you need. This is one area of my horse care that I do not skimp on. Now, if you have your own jumps, this is a great time of year to refresh or repaint your jumps. I decided to take out some of the jumps and repaint some of the rails that I have to update them and just make them look great and fresh for this summer. And if I do just a couple of pulls in the evening over the next couple of weeks, all of my jumps will be repainted and I will have some really pretty jumps to work with Ethan this summer. Something else really important that you can be working on right now is getting your arena in shape. And this could just mean dragging the arena, this could mean bringing in some new dirt, or even building an arena. Now when we built our arena last year, I didn't get to use it as much as I would have liked to. I wasn't able to ride as much last summer because of having surgery. So I really wasn't concerned about not having enough footing in the arena that I have. But this summer that's gonna to be totally different. So one of the things that I'm gonna be doing soon is bringing in some more sand so it has a nice even bed that's really shock absorbing and helpful to my horses. So even though I'm not gonna be getting my sand right away, I do like taking my tractor and dragging the arena and making the most of the space that I do have until my new sand gets here. Something else that's really fun this time of year, fun, I think it's fun. Some people may not think it's fun, but deep cleaning your stalls. This is an excellent time of year to get out to the barn and really strip the stalls all the way down, wash the walls, wash the ceilings, and just look over anything that could potentially hurt your horse. How are the boards? Are there any loose nails? Is there anything in a stall that he could get hurt on? This is when you wanna take care of that while it's nice outside, or at least somewhat nice outside, and then you won't have to keep doing that throughout the summer. So hopefully that gives you some ideas of different things that you can do out in your barn to get ready for spring. And then you can just get into a habit of getting out and working with your horse because everything has a place to live in your tack room, your stalls are clean, and everything looks beautiful and it smells great too. And if you wanna make the most of the time that you have with your horse, consider subscribing to my channel and watching all of my other videos showing you how you can be a budget equestrian. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.